when it comes to putting out the kind of content that will actually move the culture forward, why do you think there's so much resistance to that? It's interesting. So you know, B, from the day you met me, I've this has been my conversation. I didn't, yeah. I didn't start doing this because it was like popular, mm -hmm. right? I, I do this because it's just who I am. And I think what I've learned and I can say with certainty is I don't know how real the Willie Lynch letter, mm -hmm. you know, that whole situation. I don't know. I wasn't there. You know, I have to say <laughs> always I wasn't there. But the concept of us not liking each other, mm -hmm. the concept of us not, you know, supporting each other and believing in each other and, and being jealous and envious of each other is absolutely a way to control us. Mm. Low group esteem. It is group think. It is, it is, I did not learn how to manage my money as an artist. I was told to shut up and sing and not complain. Nobody pulled me to the side to, to give me tools and resources to deal with some of the traumas that I was dealing with in my personal life mm -hmm. while I was making all this money for the record label, for the entertainment industry, right? Mm -hmm. Every other industry has some form of the NFL. You have standards and practices, like certain things you can't do. You get out of there. NBA, certain things you can't. The only industry that has a just sort of do whatever the hell you want. It doesn't matter if it works great, if it doesn't work great, because if you die, we're going to still make money. You know, and it's just it's just so sad and heartbreaking that people haven't taken the steps to, to change that because a healthier artist, a healthier creative means more money, mm -hmm. means more longevity, means a better community that cultivates more of those. Like if you fertilize the soil with good content, if you give us good food, then we are going to thrive and you are going to thrive because nobody shares their gifts like we do. Come on. We give it away, literally, which is why so many of us die broke, broken and traumatic or live traumatic existences because mm -hmm. we never deal with that. So I believe the reason they don't do it is because they don't need to, they don't want to, and they don't care to. Mm. Understanding your value though, Nikki, how does one go about evaluating how much they're worth? So when it comes time for that artist to go get that record deal, how do you say, okay, I want five million because I know that's what I'm worth. Or when it comes to that producer to pitch that show, okay, this show is worth 10 million because that's how much I know it's worth. How do you go about evaluating your self-worth with your content and your creations? Uh, you have no self-worth if you don't own it. Mm. Number That's one. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You have no worth mm -hmm. if you don't. Oh, you're a work for hire, mm -hmm. so you get paid some money to maintain until there's another opportunity for you to get paid again to make. So you're kind of mm. like pimping yourself. You know, you're kind of like you know what yeah. I mean. But you don't own shit. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't have any long term because your worth has to be connected to generational wealth and wellness to really be of any real value. Mm -hmm. Because somebody will spend twenty thousand dollars on a Birkin bag and be like, look, I'm worth mm -hmm. so much. I did that. Mm -hmm. But if it gets stolen, if it goes away, it's all gone. If you put that money and resources into long term you know, what is it, preeminent mm. assets, you know, real estate, you know, yeah. certain things like that and, and the content, that's, that's where the right. worth comes from. And I think you just have to understand that it's not, it can't be about you. It can't be about what's happening in this moment. We mm. saw how wealthy Michael Jackson was at a certain point, right? Mm. Um, we saw how wealthy Prince was. We saw how wealthy Whitney Houston, she had a big, huge, amazing home mm -hmm. in Newark, New Jersey. And now that she's gone and all these movies and stuff are happening, what measures, in my opinion, her worth outside of being an amazing singer and an amazing performer that we all love is that Whitney Houston Academy that didn't anybody, nobody even knew she had until we talked about it on R&B Divas and raised money for it. Mm. And how the resources that come in from all of those things that are, all that worth she got, yeah. how it impacts those kids from that academy that she started. Mm -hmm. How that generational process continues. How those seeds continue to grow. If our seeds of creativity and the sweat and the blood and the tears and, and all the stuff that we have gone through can't be planted to, to help other people grow into something greater than we were. Mm -hmm. We have no worth. 